Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Top. Thank you guys for stopping by my kitchen once again. And today I'm going to be doing some brownies. So I thought I would bring you guys along to show you how to do this easy brownie recipe. Actually, it's a fudge brownie. And um, we're going to get right into the video right now. So let's go. All right, guys, so let's get into this video. Right now, I have a half a cup of butter. Make sure that it's melted. Um, we're going to put that in there, and then we're going to um, sift the um, cocoa powder. Um, it's very important that you that you sift it, because if you don't sift it, it have, like, little bits, you know, brown balls. You don't want that. So sift it makes it really smooth and get all the dirt out of, um, not literally dirt, y'all, but, you know, the little impurities that you don't want in your bacon okay so we're gonna um place that in there and then when you finish placing that we're gonna stir it up really well first um make sure we incorporate it really well before we get on to the next thing and guys this is a really super easy and i know i say that a lot but it really is easy um fudge brownie recipe um literally you can do this in like five minutes and i mean they are absolutely delicious so yeah let me make sure i get the rest of this um butter out i saw some sitting there you want to get it all out of there okay so we're going to mix this up like i said incorporate it really well so we can um add the rest of the ingredients so now we're going to add the sugar and mix that up as well get that incorporated um and it's literally one bowl all you need is one bowl for this recipe you need one bowl your ingredients and you need your pan that's it oh and some non-stick spray that's it that's it okay um we're gonna stir that now we're gonna add the eggs now when we place these eggs in we're gonna stir it but not a whole lot because we still have to add the flour we still have to add the flowers. I'm just going to stir it in enough so we can't see it anymore. And after that, I'm going to stop because I still have to put the flour in. And I don't want to over mix it because you can't over mix it. So as soon as you don't see them eggs, now see, now I stop. Okay, now I'm going to add the salt in there. And then I'm going to add the um, vanilla. And the recipe you guys know will be in the description box, okay? Um, then I'm going to add the flour. I'm going to sift that too because we got to get all those impurities out to make your brownies really smooth, okay? And if you want to know where you can purchase these, just let me know and I'll place it in the um, inbox as well. Make sure we get all that out of there. Okay. Now we're going to mix it up. Guess what, guys? We're almost done, okay? We're going to mix all this up. We are almost done. Almost done. Just that quick. And when I tell y'all, I know I said that before. When I tell y'all these brownies is the bomb, they the bomb, okay? Super easy, cheap to make. You don't even need a blender. If you don't even have a blender, you still straight. You just need a whisk. You know what I'm saying? In a row. That's it. <laughs> okay. That's all you need. And you in there. Now I'm going to make sure I stir this up really, you know, pretty good. But like I said, not too much. That's why I didn't stir as much before because I know at the end, we got to make sure we stir that flour in. Okay. So that's the consistency it should be. Now there you go. We're going to add the walnuts. Okay. Chopped walnuts. Whatever you want to put. Chopped walnuts, pecans, whatever. Now here I have some chopped up um brick chocolate that i chopped up myself but you can find it at walmart um it just makes the brownies really moist okay and i think i did like a half maybe a half tablespoon of that but like i said the recipe will be in the description box y'all that's it that's it that's it now we got our pan we're gonna spray the pan, sis, and we done. That's it. And you're going to be surprised. You're going to be like, I know these brownies don't taste like this. And that's all it took for me to do it exactly. 
And during this video, I'm going to show you guys um, that even though this recipe is simple, that you can make it a gift. You can make it a gift for your employees or um, co-workers or friends and family. Um, and they a sweat down child <laughs> that she was in the kitchen all day. And guess what, boo boo? <laughs> Five minutes and you done. Um, you just got the cooking time. That's it. Okay. Then we're going to um, get all this stuff off the spoon and make sure, um, our, off the spatula and make sure we smooth it out really well so it'll be even when it comes out the pan. Make sure you set your oven to 350. That's what it needs to be at 350. I'm going to shake it up a little bit so we can get them corners, honey. Who likes the old corn, old crispy corner? Okay. I love me a crispy corner. All right, guys. All right. Now, it is out the oven. Now, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I did not let these cool because I'm greedy. So, you're going to see where they didn't sit. I should have let them sit longer. But because I wanted me a piece, I went ahead and cut them while they were still warm. So, um, they, they kind of fall apart a little bit, but I couldn't help it, honey. I couldn't let them sit there no longer, child. I had to get me a piece. All right. So I'm going to show y'all two ways. I'm just going to, um, plate some of them and then show you, um, you know, a little gift, easy, cheap gift that you can give somebody. For Christmas, one of your co-workers to take them to a um, Christmas party, y'all know, um, Christmas parties are coming up from work, you know. Let me show you guys, honey. Give them to your boss. Do something. Yeah, they look so moist, and they were very moist. And I think that chopped chocolate that I used, the brick chocolate, I think it helped it out so much. But if you don't have that, you actually can use um, chocolate chips as well. I just had some in the fridge in the cabinet I used. Okay, now you see how they breaking up a little bit? That's because I don't let them, um, <laughs> too greedy to let them uh, cool off. I'm going to get, um, excuse me for a second, I'm getting my, um, my pie uh, lifter, whatever it's called, honey. Whatever, child, let me get it because it, it probably do better. Okay, now here is my tin can i got it from dollar tree i've already placed some wax paper inside of it isn't he so cute really really cheap look and i'm gonna um place some in here okay and like i said um make sure y'all please make sure y'all let y'all cool i was just being child greedy and then I had a thousand things to do that day. So I was trying to hurry up and get this video made. But, um, yeah, you can place them in here. And then I didn't put all this in the video, but um, you can also, you know, make it look like a gift. So you can either have, the, you know, however you want it. Okay, guys, so now we're going to taste it. Oh, Jesus. Y'all, oh my God. These brownies are so good. I was super shocked um, at how good these brownies were and how moist they were. And they stayed moist, okay? Over the weekend, they were still moist, honey. Yes, they are so good. Oh, <laughs> y'all, look, I promise you, they just that good. I had to do a happy dance. Okay, y'all know they good when you got to do the happy dance. <laughs> but thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys. See you later. Bye.